Hey everyone, welcome back. The nice and warm weather is here and it is here to stay finally. So today I have a few Dollar Tree outdoor garden DIYs for you. If you're new here and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss out on a new video. All right, now let's get into all of these DIYs. Here's a cute way to make a hanging bird bath. I just took one of these hanging baskets from Dollar Tree and I took off the hanging part um, just because I wanted to add one of the metal hanging pieces. I took this off of one of the metal hanging baskets that I had from Dollar Tree and I just simply attached it to the pieces that were already there. And then I'm gonna take one of these clear plastic bowls from Dollar Tree, they're pretty shallow, and I just took the stickers off and placed it right in the top there and it fits perfectly then I'm gonna add some stones to the bottom of this and then I also added a bigger rock so that that way the birds could stand on there or even like little bees could stand on there to take a drink and then I added just some water and that was it I hung it on a shepherd's hook outside. You can hang this from a tree or wherever you get a lot of birds or bees. And it's just a cute and simple and affordable way to make a little bird bath for the summertime. For my next DIY, I'm gonna make some mushroom for my garden. So I picked up some of these cocoa liners for my mushroom caps and I am just going to use some white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree and then I got these sponge dabbers from Dollar Tree. They come in three different sizes in one pack. So I just use all three different sizes and I just uh, dabbed them onto the cocoa liner. Sometimes I put my hand underneath and pressed so that way the color would show up on the cocoa liner. And you want to make sure that you seal these before you put them outside with some sort of clear coat protectant so that way the paint doesn't wash off. And then for the stems of my mushrooms, I picked up some of these red vases. They have different colors, but I picked up the red and I just hot glued the bottoms together and then I put some hot glue at the top to put my mushroom cap on. And I made a bigger one like this and then I went ahead and made a smaller one with the same materials. I just uh, used another cocoa liner, but this time for the cocoa liner, I did cut it down around the bottom. I just followed the circle and I cut probably about an inch to two inches off around the bottom uh, so that that way um, it would be a little bit smaller because I was only going to use one vase to put the cocoa liner on top of. And if I left it the same size, it was going to be too big. So then after I got done cutting, it, I just scrunched up the cocoa liner so that that way uh, it gave it more of a natural look. And then again, I went in with my uh, sponge uh, pouncers or dabbers or whatever you want to call them. And I dabbed some round circles on to this one as well. And I did all three of the round circles. And then once that was complete, I took my vase and I flipped it upside down and I glued the mushroom cap on top of that vase. And I think these turned out super adorable. I, like I said, I put them in my garden and I think it would be fun if you use the different color vases. You could even paint the mushroom caps, spray paint them and give them some fun colors to put in your garden. But it was a super cute way and affordable way to decorate on a budget. For this DIY, I wanted to make a cute mossy wreath with some flower pots on it. So I'm gonna take this wire wreath form from Dollar Tree and I flipped it over so it wasn't, uh, so like the inside of the wreath was now the front of the wreath. So that way I could uh, fill that part up with moss. And I just hot glued the moss right on to the wire wreath forms and then where it was a little patchy, I would just go back over the moss that I put down and add some more moss. And I just did this all the way around the wreath form, making sure to cover up all of the wire. 
Next, I'm gonna take some of this wired twine from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use that to help me hold the clay pots in place. So I just put my clay pot on to the wreath and then I wrapped the wire twine around the pot and through the wire wreath form and then twist tied it in the back. And then just put a little dab of hot glue on the wired uh, twine and the clay pot just to hold it kind of in place. And then I went ahead, after I did the first one, I realized I need to go ahead and glue the pots down first where I want them and then put the wired twine in. So that is what I did. I glued them down with a little hot glue and then I wrapped the twine around each one of them and then I put the dab of hot glue onto the top of the twine uh, just to hold it onto the clay pot. And then I filled in some of the gaps with a little more uh, moss um, when I was just finishing up there. And then I took some fake succulents from Dollar Tree. You can get real succulents. I just, I don't really have that great of a green thumb. So I decided to go with the fake ones. So I just placed them, um, I cut the stems down and placed them inside the pots and hot glued them uh, down in place if I needed to. Um, and then once that was done, I went ahead and added some moss on the clay pots as well. I just uh, went around and hot glued some here and there where I thought it just uh, matched the wreath a little bit and it helps the pots blend into the wreath a little bit more. And that was all for this wreath. I did add some fairy lights from Dollar Tree that were battery operated. I think this turned out really cute. You could add some fairy garden little figurines from Dollar Tree as well. But I think this is cute to put outside for summer and gives that garden feel. For this DIY, I'm gonna make a garden arch with this hula hoop. If you take it apart, you can pour out the little beads on the inside so it won't make the noise. And then I'm gonna take two of these broomstick candles from Dollar Tree, and I'm just gonna remove the tops off of them, and they're hollow on the, on the insides. So you can insert each side of the hula hoop that you took apart into those tops. And then I spray painted everything black, and then I'm actually, I took it apart because it just stays together uh, with you inserting them into the tops of those uh, broomstick handles. So I just pounded those broomstick handles into the ground. Then I put my arch on with the hula hoop. And then I took these indoor outdoor fairy lights from Dollar Tree. They're in the plus section. As you can see, they were $5. Um, so I just took those since they were outdoor and I wrapped them all around the arch. And then I took some fake ivy from Dollar Tree until I can get some real plants to vine up. And I wrapped that. And I think this turned out really pretty. Perfect to put in a garden. And it stands about five feet tall, maybe just a little bit over five feet. So it's really cute to add for the summertime. For this last DIY, I'm going to make a cute little solar garden stake flower to put in the garden. And I'm going to use a hanging basket from Dollar Tree that I just flipped upside down and I took the hanger off because I used that hanger for the first DIY in this video. And then I'm going to take one of these garden hooks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to put the hook through the center of the basket. And then I'm going to just take a couple zip ties and zip tie the top and the bottom of that hook to the basket. And then my flower definitely needs some leaves. So I used this cocoa liner and I just cut a couple leaf shapes out of the cocoa liner. To attach the cocoa liners to the garden hook, I am just gonna use zip ties again. I just went right through the cocoa liner and then around the garden hook and then up through the other cocoa liner and then pulled them tight. I used about three or four zip ties for the leaves just to make sure that they were tight. And they're still pliable, so you can kind of move them around and position them the way that they you want them to, but they do stay in place after you zip tie them, if that makes sense. So you can still kind of move them, but they still stay in place. Um, and then I did trim off a little bit more of the cocoa liner to give me a good shape for the leaves. And then I am gonna go ahead and paint this with some of this summer squash spray paint from the neck of the 
basket to the top of the basket and then from the neck of the uh, stem down I'm gonna paint that with the moss green spray paint like you see here and the leaves also I spray painted those as well and then for the solar power I just took a solar powered light this one is not from Dollar Tree but ones from Dollar Tree will work as well and I just took it off of the stake and placed it in the center of my flower and I think this is so adorable and I love how it looks all around my flowers and just gives off a really nice pretty ambiance for the summertime. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you made it to the end, leave me a mushroom emoji down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.